Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be demonstrating a four digit number divided by a two digit divisor sum that was requested by one of the subscribers. The only difference is here I'll be explaining it in a more simpler, a slightly lengthier but more simpler procedure. In the previous examples that I have covered till now involving two digit divisors, what I have been suggesting is to keep a few multiples of the divisor ready. Like for example, two times the divisor or three times or five times the divisor, if we keep it ready, it becomes a little faster. It reduces the number of subtract subtraction steps that we need to use. But some people have found it a little complicated. What happens is many people try this procedure while they are still very new with Abacus methods. Let me tell you one thing use of division method with two digit divisors is actually to be learned in the latter stages of the abacus course it's not to be learned when you're still very new to this abacus course that's the reason why many people find it a little difficult or a little complicated still i'll explain you the logic behind uh, why those multiples were used using the simpler method a slightly lengthier but simpler method in this video so the number is 9368 which is to be divided by 49 okay so as our regular division procedure is we need to consider a question set separately to the answer set so this middle white dot is the units place of our answer set and this next white dot on the right will be the uh, units place of the question set so i'll take 9368 that is our dividend number ending on this particular rod so it's a four digit number so it will start from here nine three six eight okay it is ending on this particular white dot and our divisor is 49 now in this case i won't be considering any multiples of 49 i'll be considering only one multiple of 49 that is one times okay 49 one times is 49 itself that's it I'll be using that same number, multi subtracting it uh, several times to arrive at the final answer. So please observe this carefully. We start with the initial two digits of the dividend. Okay, so since our divisor is a two digit number, we need to consider the first two digits on the left of the dividend as well. So the first two digits of, on the, of the dividend is 93 and it ends on the third rod. Okay, so our final, our, our answer will also start from the third rod of the answer set. Remember, this is the third rod of the answer set. From this 93, how many times 49 can I subtract? So let's check it out. I'll take every time I'll take one on the answer set and I'll subtract 49 from here. So I'll take one on the answer set. I'll subtract 49 from here. 40 and for 9, my plus 1, minus 10. Okay, now I have 44 left on this rod. So I cannot subtract another 49 from this 44, right? So I'll move one place to the right for both the answer set as well as the question set. Now I have the number 446 with me. It's quite a big number. So I'll sub definitely be able to subtract 49 several times. So let's start. I'll take one on the answer set here, subtract 49 from this 446. 40 and for subtraction of nine plus one minus 10. Again, one on the answer set and again, subtraction of 40 and nine on the units place. So plus one minus 10. Again, one added on the answer set. Again, a subtraction of 40 and 9 for 9 plus 1 minus 10. Again, I still have 299 left with me on this particular rod. So again, I'll add 1 on the answer set and subtract 49 here. Still, I have 250 with me. Okay, so I'll start with, uh, I'll add another 1 on this answer set. So plus 5 minus 4 for addition of 1 on this rod. I did plus 5 minus 4 and I now will subtract 49 from this here. Minus 40 and minus 9. Okay, still I have 201. I'll continue with the same procedure until the point that I have less than a 49 number left on this particular rod. Currently I have 201 also. So I'll continue with subtraction of 49 a few more times. Again, one added on the answer set, subtracting 49 on the question set. Again, I'll add one on the answer set, subtract 49 on the answer set. Again, I'll add one on the question answer set, subtract 49 on the uh, question set. Again, still I have 54. That is one more nine, 49 can be subtracted from this. So I'll again add one on the 
uh, answer set and then subtract 40 and 9 on the question set. Now I have le I am left with only 5 on this particular rod. Okay, so I hope that you might have got a gist of the reason why I was using multiples of the divisor, a few multiples of the divisor. It would have reduced the number of subtraction steps that we did right now. Okay, here we did subtraction of 49 nine times for getting nine on this particular answer rod. Okay, second place, uh, tenth place of the answer rod. We did it nine times. Had we used a higher multiple of 49 once or twice, we would have reduced the number of subtraction steps that we need to do. Okay, still we'll continue with this. Now moving to the next rod, that is the units place rod of both the question set as well as the answer set. The number we have right now is 58. So only 149 can be subtracted from this. I'll take one on the answer set and subtract 49 from the question set. And we are left with a remainder of nine here. So the final answer that we have is 191 with a remainder of nine. This is the final answer. 